Hi, it's Sarah Berry here from stampwithsarah.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you how I've made this funky, spotty Christmas card. The colours are a little bit more, uh, well, they're not traditional. I've taken them from the pattern paper and I really quite like it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. The stamp set is featured in the August, December mini catalogue from Stampin' Up. This is the In the Pines set, and there are also coordinating dies with this too. So if you get it, the stamp set and the dies together as a bundle, you save 10%. So the stamps I'm using are Season's Greetings and then these two here. I'm also using the Playful Patterns, sorry, Playing with Patterns pattern paper. And as you can see, they are nice and exciting and bright Probably you'd use these for maybe new babies, birthday cards, children's cards. And I just thought I would do something a little bit different with them. I'm going to choose a different pattern paper. I'm going to go for... It's so difficult. I think the stripes. Let's do the stripes because I did spots before. I've also got a piece of our Knight of Navy cardstock, which is our... Um, one of our deepest blues and it was A4 but I've cut it in half so it's A5 and then I'm going to put it in the trimmer and score it in half at 10.5 centimetres this is a landscape card so you could have the um, the card instead of op opening like that you could have it opening from the side that's our card base. Now the pattern paper, I've left a nice border around the outside. So I know my length of my card is 14.8. So I'm taking a centimetre off to make it 13.8 centimetres. Keep that little strip, that's quite important. Turn the paper and then I'm taking a centimetre off this as well of my width which is ten and a half centimetres but then um, my paper is going to be nine and a half centimetres so there's our paper so that can get stuck down on the base card nice and centre might do that that way There we go. Now the layers I've made um, using the stitched rectangle dies. I've already die cut them. And I've got one for the greeting and then two, one for the trees and then one for the message inside. Like that, because it's a dark cardstock. The great thing about those dies is actually they've got stitched lines on both sides of the die. So that has come out of the centre of the die. And then if you wanted, you can still use the other piece that you'd normally use as waste. And you'd probably just throw it in the bin. But if you measured your, your layer to go on the front of your card, you could have a border with a stitch line. So there's a double use for these dies. So I'll take this first one and my stamps are already on their blocks. Now these are block um, D, I want to say. I can't find it. D, B, D. They are D. There's a little circle on the side with a letter. And then the greeting is on G, block G. So I'm going to use Knight of Navy to start with. I've got my colours out. This one's Coastal Cabana. I've just not I've just not put the label on it yet. It's still underneath. So I've got Knight of Navy, Seaside Spray, Crushed Curry, Coastal Cabana. Um, did I say Coastal Cabana? I meant Calypso Coral. I don't know what I just said. This one's Calypso Coral and that one's Coastal Cabana. So I'm just doing the outline of the trees first which is this one this tree has like the d 
detailed outline and then you fill it in with this one. So it's like two stamps in one and make one image. So I'm going to stamp it slightly off center. Like that. Trying to get it nice and even. Four trees sit along here quite nicely. There we go. That's it for the Knight of Navy. Now I'll bring in my colours. So let's do Coastal Cabana. I'm going to mix up the order that I've done them in, I think. There's Coastal Cabana. Calypso Coral. Now I must make sure I clean my stamps in between changing colours. So I will just do that. We'll go for orange down that side. And then I've got Crush Curry. I'd love to do this with different pattern papers that you wouldn't normally use for Christmas. Um, like a bright pink one because you see a lot of pink cards don't you I'm just going to double stamp that there we go and then the last one is seaside spray I might double stamp this one as well make it a bit stronger and there we go so that's our colouring. And then if I bring back in that Knight of Navy, the Season's Greetings fits quite nicely on this small rectangle from the Stitch Rectangles. There you go. So I just want some foam pads for that. Put them in all four corners and then just a couple in the middle. Oops. Like that. Take those off. That's going there. <laughs> I really quite like it. I don't know why. It's so different. It just makes me look at Christmas in a different different way and look at looks at my uh make me look at my pattern papers slightly differently. There. And then I have some basic rhinestone jewels just our standard classic clear rhinestones and there you go Ooh. I think I did yeah I've done three on each tree with the exception of the other two here these two I've just done two on here obviously it's partly covered up so there you go that's the front of the card what do you think <laughs> I really love them I think they look really nice as a nice little set so I said before keep that little strip because that's going to get stuck into our card so I'm going to glue this down this is where we write our message that goes quite that goes in the center And then this bit of paper, oops, it will be slightly too long, so I have to trim it. It just goes along there, like that. And then if I can reach my scissors. Just 
trim that bit off. There you are. What do you think? Leave me a comment, I'd love to know. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about the products, please leave me a comment in the YouTube video below or drop me an email on my website, santwithsarah.co.uk. See you again in the next video. Bye.